everybody, J and A Review, and today we're at Triple H RVs here in Haleyville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and also give us that thumbs up. Now, today we're excited to give give you a look at this 2023 KZ Sportster Toy Hauler, model number 311TH10. So let's get started. The length on this Sportster is 34 feet. The dry weight is 8,810 and that hitch weight is 1,600. Okay, everybody, we really think you are going to like looking at this toy hauler. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those really nice kind of in between if you don't like the ones that are completely open on the inside and you like having a separate garage, but you don't need a huge toy hauler, you're really, really gonna like this one. Here is part of your outside storage. You're going to have a propane tank here on this side. Coming around to the front. I uh, like this little design that they put here on this front door. It's going to be prepped for a generator. Your batteries will go in right there. Auto oh, lily. Yes, right there. Nice, nice convenient area for it. Let's come on around here on your count side. This is gonna be your second propane bottle. Yep. And here is the other side of your pass-through storage. Not bad for a Which, little smaller one. Yes, for a toy hauler, that's actually- Only 34 feet, so- Yeah, right. really good storage there. So let me back up so you can see your camp side. You're gonna have a power awning there. They do give you a light under it. Of course, you have two doors. Um, one to go into your living area, one into your um, garage area. You're going to have six point six leveling. Point. That is awesome. Yes. Hey, let's go back here and show you the um, loading ramp and the patio. So this is going to have your screens here. We don't have this other one pulled out, but the this side here will, will pull out and click into place. It is prepped for a backup camera. So, hey, let's come on inside the garage and take a look. Now, the Sportster, Sportster is going to be um, a little more budget friendly than some of your toy haulers. So, if you really are looking for something that fits into a, a budget, this is a great one to look at. This is going to have a 10 foot garage. So, it is a little smaller, but um, if you carry um, if you do motocross or things like that, this is probably going to be a really great size. You've got your D-ring tie-downs in the floor. Out here on your patio, these um, two tables are removable. You can fold them up and store them. You can obviously move them out there oh, let's do this. to your patio. Oh, oh yeah, bring, you know, sit out here. bring your lawn chairs. Um, I do like that these little flaps right here will snap into place on the side. So if you've got pets or kids, you know, it'll keep them from sliding through that gap right there. That's nice. Really, really nice. Very good thinking on that one. Yes. And again, you can move those um, tables in here, have a uh, dining area. These two sofas will make into sleeping areas. You just flip them over, just like that. You can do one side, both sides. These will actually raise up there on the Happy Jack system. You also have an upper bunk. This is probably a queen size, if I'm guessing. And just like the bottom, it will um, raise on up to the ceiling, store up out of place. Have your ladder there to get into it. This is going to be prepped for a washer and dryer. So if you want to add a stackable washer and dryer, you can definitely add that right there. You are able to install a TV back here. So your connections are already in place. Way up here at the top. Oh my Now goodness. if you're vertically challenged like I am, you may have to have somebody to get them to this storage for you. And oh. Oh, that one's very... There we go. There we go. 
I'm, I'm going to sit down and look up at it. <laughs> but yes, you've got storage here across the top. Uh, of course, this is a toy hauler. You are going to have vents, so um, it'll keep your garage vented while you're traveling down the road. Yep. All okay. right. Oh, oh! I like that they put your fuse box down here. Yes. And not inside your living area. That's wonderful. All right. Well, speaking of living area, let's get started inside. You're gonna have a little step right here, so be careful. Um, we'll just go ahead and start right here in this kitchen area. They are gonna give you a two-way fridge, so if you like to boondock, you can run this on propane moving right on around you got your microwave yeah. over your vent there a three burner cooktop with an oven storage right up there yep. and they do give you this nice long window it does not open but it gives you some great light in here you're gonna have a sealed edge um, countertop in here with a large single basin sink high-rise faucet three those are very good sized yeah. drawers underneath. Yeah. I'm gonna turn right around. Now this is, the, of course, this door goes into your garage. So this is gonna be your pantry area. Nice. Storage, I mean, that's a lot of storage in here. Very nice. Uh, here is going to be your AC unit. You do have a slide here in this area, so they give you this very large U-shaped dinette. You've got storage under both sides with these pull-out tubs. Very nice. If you need some more sleeping besides what's in the garage, you can um, let this table down. Basically, the legs just pop out of the floor and out of the table, and you just rest it on that little ledge, and you'll have another sleeping area. I'm going to turn right here, show you the entertainment center. I'm going to have some storage up here. here. Let me swap places with him so you can see that. Yeah, storage up there. There's your TV. You do have a sound bar. Even more storage below that. And a really nice electric fireplace with a little bit of a shoe garage below so you can stash your shoes. Now here is going to be your your main entry door, and right beside it, you have storage up above. You actually have a little coat closet with some hooks in there. And right below that, underneath your countertop, really, really good storage right there. And your, if you add your generator, there's your Control. Start for your generator. Start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can tell that we don't have a generator, so we don't really know all those technical terms. Okay. Well, hey, this upper deck is is a little bit unusual from what we've seen in a while. So let's go up here and take a look. Um, this actually is going to be kind of a throwback to some of the older fifth wheels. I'm digging this. So this is actually open. Um, when you come up, you're going to have your sink right out here, medicine cabinet up above it, and some storage right below it. Right here beside me is your big linen closet. And I'm going to I'm going to be down the step here, go right back down the steps, and you see that they give you a privacy curtain instead of a door. So you do have some privacy there. And now I am back in the kitchen and living area and I'm looking at the bathroom door. So we'll go in there and show you that. Okay. So your shower and um, foot, fl foot flush toilet are gonna be in a little separate area. Now Jeremy is six feet tall. Yeah. So they give you a skylight in here and a shower curtain and that's, it's a little bit narrow, but it's kind of wide. Yeah, so you could almost bathe your dog in here. <laughs> yeah, they give you a little step up. So if you have pets, yeah, that, that would nice. work. Uh, they do give you some hooks right up there. A little bit, a um, little fan, fan there. Cool. Of course, here's your controls for your AC unit. Now this is going to be, pretty sure this is a camp queen. Mm-hmm. 
um, but you do have plenty of space if you want to add a regular queen in here. Got some storage cool. down there below. Right around the front, you're going to have hanging and storage, and you're going to have the exact same thing on this side. You see you've got a ledge with USB and a ledge with a plug-in right there. Now, um, you're going to have a little bit of a step up, but it's not very tall. I doubt it's probably four or five inches. Your TV will mount right up here in that corner, so you see that your connections are already in place. Now, this one does already have your second AC installed. So, let me back up just a little bit and show you uh, what this upper deck looks like. And again, if any of you are familiar with the older fifth wheels, this is a layout um, from several years back, mm -hmm. which actually works very well in here. I like it. It's nice. All right, everybody. If you like this uh, KZ Sportster uh, toy hauler, the dealership's information will be down in the description below. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, give us that thumbs up. And also, uh, we have a Facebook page, J&A Review. So keep up with us there on Facebook. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.